Welcome back to Pharos Technology. Today we will continue showing how even an absolute beginner can make a professional looking spreadsheet. In this five minute tutorial, we will show you how formatting will make your cells more legible. In the last video, we transcribed a ledger into Microsoft Excel. If you watched the video, go ahead and open up your ledger file and follow along. If you haven't watched it yet, don't worry. We will link that video at the end of this one, so you can go back and watch it if you want. We won't do anything in this video that we don't bring you up to speed on. While you're opening up your ledger, let's roll the info. Before we start formatting the cells, let's apply some of our learning from the last video to clean up our columns. Notice that one of our purchases is too wide for the cell. Let's hover our mouse over the divider between column C and column D until we see the vertical line with the left and the right arrow once again. I'd rather not continually widen it for each purchase. So instead, we can find that divider and drag it to the right or to the left until the cell is just as wide as we think we need. Since that's done, we can start working with our cells. We're going to be using the ribbon today for the first time. The ribbon is the horizontal set of icons across the top of the page. Above the ribbon are tabs that look somewhat like menus, which allow you to select the different ribbons. For today, we are sticking with the Home tab. That's where we can find all of our formatting. The section we want is called Number. This section will allow us to tell Excel what kind of data is in each cell. Excel will then apply changes to the look of the cell appropriate for that data type. We saw an example of this formatting change happen with column B. We entered dates using the day slash month. Excel knows this is likely to be a date, so it turns those cells into dates. Let's look at some other options for those cells. First, select the cell for August 22nd. In the number section, you can access common format types using the buttons. For more dates, we will click the down arrow in the box showing the word custom. It gives us more options to use. Under each format, there's a preview of how the cell would look. Both short date and long date are good options, but neither of them look like our original ledger. So let's click more number formats at the bottom of the list. This window has hundreds of custom formats to choose from. We can click on date in the category box on the left and quickly find the version we are looking for on the list. When we click on the type that says 3 slash 4, the sample above changes to show a preview of our cell. Click OK to apply the format to the cell. Luckily, we don't have to do this for every individual cell. By clicking on our column header, we can format every cell in that column. Select the cells, click the arrow next to where it says General, Click More Number Formats, then Date, then our chosen format. That format will be applied to every cell in column B. Formatting the debit and credit columns will be even easier. See those icons below the drop list that we skipped? Let's select our two columns and click on the dollar sign. Immediately, several things changed about the cells. A dollar sign was added, but even more, some of those numbers, like our transactions with Amazon, were whole dollar amounts. They had no sense. But by formatting as currency, every cell will show exactly two decimal places. Well, that's about it for today's video. Our spreadsheet went from ugly and hard to read to looking much more like our paper ledger. We can be confident that our dates and our dollar amounts will be properly read because they are formatted appropriately. Next, we will begin using the power of the digital spreadsheet to do things that would take a lot of work on paper. By using formulas, we will automatically calculate sums and figure out our balance, all without manual input. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button to let others know that there's good information here. If you want to watch the rest of the, the series, click subscribe, and you'll be notified of the rest of the videos when they're released. Thanks for watching.